Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look how we can have attachments as part of the approval process. So recently I came to one scenario, one valid use case where the approver business users wanted to approve the item just by looking at the attachments as, the, as part of the approval email itself rather than going to the list and like looking at all the attachments one by one. So I thought like if it's a valid scenario for me, like it could be useful for you as well. So we'll be taking a look how we can have that in place. So as part of uh, approval emails, we'll be attaching the e uh, attachments there itself so that it can be approved there and there. So I am just, uh, I've just opened this uh, flow.microsoft.com and I am under this flow. And before that, I would like to show you one list which I've created. So it's a purchase order list where I would be having item for purchase order, total amount and few attachments. So it will be multiple invoices. So that would be uh, attached to the approval emails itself. So I'm just going to my Microsoft Power Automate and I'll be just creating one instant flow. As when item is created, and I'll be binding that to my list and the list name is purchase order so I'll just try to find that out so when the item is created my this flow should be triggered and as I said I will be attaching the emails uh, sorry I'll be attaching the attachments in the email approval process email so I'll just uh, use get attachment action so if you type in over here you will get these actions I'm using get attachments and I have to pick my site again and finding my list and the ID would be the item ID which was created in the previous step. So I got my attachments now I would need to extract the content of the attachments. So as I said I'll be having multiple attachments so I have to read them in apply to each loop and I need not to write explicitly apply to each because it will bind up uh, there in itself. So I'll just say get attachment content and this is the action I'm going to pick and I'll just use my site again. Here's the list. And the ID, I'll be passing the ID of the item and the file identifier, I'll have the identifier which I get from this previous step. So this file identifier is this ID. So now you see automatically it binded that up with the apply to each loop. So because it's a multiple attachments. So now as I said, I'll be using one approval process. So I'll just pick that start and wait for my approval action and I'll just choose the approval action as in everyone must to approve it will open up the other options in the title you can just uh, say like please approve and you can just append the title of the item and assign to you can just pick that up dynamically as well with any of the column but for demo purpose I'm just like picking that as in hard coded with my ID as an approval and in details link you can just provide your uh, details and if I just clicked on this advanced option I could see like uh, there is an this box for attachments where I can have attachment name and content so the option is right now it's giving option to attach one content and I can just that I mean like if I know that there are three attachments or two attachments I can build that up uh, with a static structure kind of but if I'm not sure like how many attachments are there then I would just uh, need to click on this switch where it will give me this attachments as a list of attachments. So for this I have to create an array which will hold the item files, file name and the content of the file. So I'll just switch that back and how to get that array JSON. So I'll just uh, type a dummy file name. So let's say dummy, dummy name and dummy file content and if I click on this switch back it will give me this array so you need to copy this JSON and 
and put that in a notepad because we are going to construct this JSON dynamically with the actual attachment name. So the 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 properties, the attributes would be same and this case sensitive. So that's why I copied it. So we should not make any mistake. And now I'll just go back and remove everything that enemy component and which we put. Now I'll just scroll up and initialize one variable at top and that variable will be of type array. So I'll just say array of attachments and in type I'll be choosing array. So now in my this uh, when in my step where I was getting attachment content so I'll just use this array at the action and action would be append to array. So I can just scroll down. You can just click variable to filter that out. So append to array variable. I'll be choosing array which we initialized earlier. And in the enter value, we will be using that JSON which we created, which act, which actually we tried to create it over here. So I'll just put this JSON over here. So under the name, we will be providing the name of our attachment. So that would be picked up from dynamic content as display name and the file content I'll just remove that dummy part and file content is the attachment content so attachment content so now I got this I created this JSON created and in because this is an apply to each so it will create the array of this JSON part so which is having display name of the file and the content of the attachment. So now we are good. So we are going to again go back to our start and wait for an approval action. And over here, I'll just click on this switch. And under this attachment, I will be using this dynamic variable where attachments. So now we got this attachment and whenever this pro process would get start, it will send out an email with these attachments uh, with that email, the approval email. Suppose that I need to put down, put down one condition to check whether we got an approval successfully done or not. So I can just simply use one condition and we can use the outcome of this start and uh, wait for an approval process. And if it's approved, that means we have this uh, if yes part executed and over here you can just use uh, I mean like update any of the column so you can use update item with approval status so I'm just up updating this item I'll just choose SPFX by site name list name again which is a purchase order and ID is this ID which items was created title will be just matching from title of the item and okay so we right now we don't have that approval column so i'll just create quickly so for that i need to save it first and i'll just give it a name that uh, purchase order approval flow with attachments I'll just save it and I'll go back to my list to create one additional column and which will say let's say status and this column we are going to update from our this approval flow I will just refresh my flow so that it should pick the newly created schema okay so where it went I need to edit this flow and in update part where we, we were updating that item I need to just go back and set the status as approved. So if the outcome is approved, approved then we will be setting this status as approved. So I'm just saving it. You can simply do the same part for if no branch where you can just say rejected or deny whatever suits to you. So I'm just saving this one. 
now we can test this flow i'll just create one test item so it's a let's say laptop purchase order order and i'll just add attachments and attachments let's say i just attach four invoices to this item and when i say yes save so now if we go back to our flows we may have to wait for a few seconds to have this flow running so i'll just pause over here all right so our flow is running and if i just click on it it must be paused at the stage where it would send out the approval emails and the request for the approval so i'll just go to my mailbox where i could see like i should have received one email from this flow so let me refresh my mailbox so I, I just got received this email so it's saying approval power automate and the item is subject is please approve laptop purchase order we have that approval reject button and we got this all the four attachments if i just open this email itself and being a business user or the approver i can just simply see these purchase orders and keep on seeing this and based on uh, the approval condition i'll just say like uh, all the invoices and the purchase order are in good shape i can simply say approve and add to my comment and once submitted our flow would get to an and uh, approval that uh, successful termination stage so uh, this if yes branch got executed because our uh, this condition was true and if i go back to my list i should see my this purchase order the status is approved so the benefit of this scenario is like if i would be having multiple attachments and user or business user doesn't want to look at the sharepoint list going clicking on the link and then again opening all the items and attachments they can there itself can see all the attachments and make a decision like whether should approve or reject so i think like uh, it's a better lazy way of approving this stuff like if it's just related to attachments so if you find this scenario is useful in your uh, business flows then you probably you can use and create so that's it for today i hope uh, you like the video if you do like uh, please do like and drop your comments if any questions thank you